What's up everybody, Sizzdog here for Nostalgia Button. In today's video, I'm doing something I've always wanted to do. I'm giving you a glimpse into what it's like day of a big gig uh, playing in a Pearl Jam tribute show here in Melbourne. Uh, we're playing the Corner Hotel and I'm just gonna give you a bit of a day in the life of what it's like to be a gigging musician in Melbourne. Everything from sound check to uh, load out, load in, everything in between. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna load the I'm gonna load the car, let's do it. how it's done loading uh, lo the, the car loading is done now there's one more thing to be authentic for a Pearl Jam tribute show let's make it happen back in uh, 1992 when Pearl Jam performed MTV's Unplugged Eddie did not have a beer so I'm gonna I'm gonna shave the beard for the show tonight let's see how it goes <laughs> What do you think guys? Did Eddie oh, did Eddie have uh, really cool mutton chops and crazy sideburns? Uh-uh. <laughs> I love this look. Now Eddie did have a little soul patch, so I better keep that but all of this has to go. guys there we have it guys uh, now I'm ready to play Eddie Vedder tonight for uh, Pearl Jam's MTV's Unplugged 30th anniversary set at the corner let's go all right I'm on the road now guys on my way to the gig but it wouldn't be a nostalgia button video without a little bit of hunting so I'm gonna hit up a couple of op shops on my way there and hopefully fingers crossed I find a brown t-shirt to wear tonight um, I'll show you the uh, an image of Eddie from the MTV's Unplugged right now And as you can see, he's wearing like a plain brown shirt and I don't own anything plain or brown. So <laughs> I'm gonna hopefully find something. If not, I've got a couple of backups. I've got like a plain green one. I've got a plain, well, I've got like a tie dyed brown one, which I had to put inside out because it's got a cat on the other side of it. Uh, but fingers crossed, I find a plain brown shirt to be authentic for tonight. Let's, let's cross our fingers. My first stop is Salvos here in Epping. Cross fingers, these guys have a plain brown shirt that looks like it's straight out of 1992. Let's go. Well guys, I had no luck at the Salvos. I did, uh, I did find a ladies brown tee, but I'll put in the image right now. And it just didn't, it did not look right. So I'm gonna hit up Epping Vinnie's next. Cross fingers, we can find a t-shirt there. Oh, I also did check out uh, the toy section just quickly, cause I can't help myself, but uh, nothing but junk today. You know, you can't always find Hell in a Cells. <laughs> but I am going to Vinnie's and that's where I found the Hell in a Cell. And, and the N64, which I'm not sure I've mentioned on the, on the channel. So cross fingers, we find some gold. Here we go. No luck at Epping Vinnie's, unfortunately. There was like a Rip Curl shirt there, which was more mustard than brown, and there was an XL brown shirt, but still, yeah, too big for old mate Sis Dog. So I've got one more spot I'm gonna hit up on my way to the gig. Cross fingers, 
will hit the mother load of brown 90s looking t-shirts. <laughs> Somehow I don't think so. Here we go. Alright, so there is this uh, industry one, but it's got a massive print on it and it's seven bucks, so not gonna work. And this is definitely the wrong colour, so no luck. But I did find a size two tie-dye t-shirt, so that's going home for my daughter. <laughs> Okay, the boys are gonna kill me, but I can't drive past Lobos without going in. So I'm gonna make a quick stop at what the f What the f Okay, what year is this? Um <laughs> I'm gonna make a quick stop at Lobos and just see what they got. Let's check it out. Okay, so Lobo's have, they've bagged everything in the treasure box. What is going on? What is happening? Look at all these bags. Okay. This is wild. Scott Crusher just bought one of these bad boys, but it was from Aaron's and now I wouldn't even have known, but this thing's missing accessories. He's got no grenades. I do actually need this monster and that monster or ghost from the Ghostbusters line, but I don't think I can pull the trigger today. I hope I don't regret it. Definitely new. I have not seen this before. It looks like a giant Darth Vader with all of the bounty hunters. Looks like Vader's like about to rock out. Look at him. Yeah! And that's definitely an ESB Boba Fett. Wow. That is really cool. Looks like the episode one shelf is getting even more additions to it. Every time I come, there's more things. Look at these amazing Gungan sippy cups. I feel like maybe, yeah. The Watto, a Gungan, Jar Jar right there. Look at this episode one Naboo Starfighter keepsake ornament. That is cool. Didn't pick up anything at Lobos. I hope those uh, ghosts will be there next time. Maybe, cross fingers, but time to get to the gig. I'm late. Ah! All right, here's a hot tip for you, for all those musos out there, or even punters who are coming to a gig at the corner. Instead of going underneath the Swan Street Bridge here in Richmond, there's a little slip lane just here. You just, you just turn left right here, and then usually you can find a park just behind the venue. So if you uh, if you ever go into a gig at the corner and you don't know where to park, this is the vibe. Just come back here and hopefully you'll find the Costanza spot. Hopefully I find a Costanza spot. I mean, I've got to load in first. So usually there's a little spot that you can load in at the back of the venue right here. But um, fingers crossed, um, once I've loaded in, I can snag a spot like, you know, somewhere around here. Here we go. All right, just arrived at the venue, found a lo little loading zone here, so I'm gonna unload and uh, get everything in, into the venue and uh, hopefully do a bit of a sound check before all the punters roll in to see Pearl Jam tribute show tonight. All right, just loading in. Um, uh, this is for all the musos out there, buddy musos. Make sure, do not forget your trolley, all right? Safety first, because uh, the JCM 800, that weighs a ton. <laughs> so you really need a trolley for something like this, all right? Uh, liquid, liquid, you had a liquid, liquid meal. Dinner. Dude, man. Everybody's here. Yes. We're setting up for the gig. What is this called? What's the setup called? Sound check. Sound, sound check? check. Yep. Is that the technical term, mate? Yes. We Very have to technical. check the sound yes. before the punters come in. Is that right? Yep. That's right. That's right. All right. We're going to do a sound check. <laughs> Monday to Friday and public holidays, two hour car park, but it's a Saturday, baby. Costanza. 
Costanza. It's that front of the corner here, or to the side of the corner, we've got Ian Molly Meldrum and his dog with an Egyptian-inspired T-shirt and that big smile on his mug. That iconic Akubra hat. So if you ever wondered what it's like backstage at a rock and roll show, this is uh, this is pretty much it. <laughs> got a couch. Uh, we've got a nice little area here for you to do your makeup, if that's your if that's your vibe. And they've got a new bar fridge here at the corner backstage area. Look at this. All that soft, all the softies. And if you're a bit stinky from your day at work, you can even grab a shower. Look at that. Right, so we do a sound check and uh, we're just looking at my amp. Let's check out the amp in question. Here it is, the JCM 800. And it's got this dirty big hole in it. Look at that. And I've always blamed that on Frankie because why? Why do I blame that on you, Frankie boy? I don't know, because you think I was holding the amp for you at the time. <laughs> and I wasn't. You weren't. So I you assumed that I was holding it. it you thought I was ready to catch it. And you weren't holding it. Not really, no. Will you, will you catch me if I fall now? Are you going to catch me? Oh. Hey! <laughs> From Fuvana, he's a he's a, a buttoner. <laughs> he watches exactly. my show I do. on, on I do. the. I'm very surprised at how much stuff you had. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. Yeah. yeah, I got rid of my stuff, hence I'm giving you some more of my stuff. So you've got a little goodie bag here for yes. me. So let's go through it. And that's a very fitting T-shirt. Oh, a bit of Star Wars yeah, action. Here yeah, we yeah. go. All right. What's the first item? Old calendar. Oh, Revenge of the Sith. Look at that. That is. Circa 2003, I'm assuming. Look at that, bang. Can't wait to dig into that one. There's another one, I can't remember what year. 2017. Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah, 2017 calendar, bang. Now this will get me a nostalgia button going. Look at that. Oh, that dude. All right, let's close the door for this one. <laughs> we want to be able to... The question and answer book about space. Wow. I don't know when I got it, but that was probably primary school, so that's a long time ago. Dude, are you sure you want to gift? You're gonna gift this yeah, to the yeah. channel. I've tried eBay. Can't wow, yeah, it just—it's it just, all yours, man. You whatever you like. I love that. That is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. And here you go. Here's some random erasers. Oh, dude, my kids will love these. <laughs> <laughs> and buttons. Oh, look, it's Chewy. It looks like he's singing into a microphone, but but it's actually his um, it's it's his like bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, my Star Wars knowledge. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, whatever. The yeah, there we go. Bang. What else we yeah, got? Some oh, some more, more rubbers. Look at that. Three Return of the Jedi. So okay, maybe I won't give these ones. To the yeah, kids. yeah. Gamorrean oh, guard there. There's We've a got, oh, two Jabba the Huts. Yeah. It looks like a couple of Jabba's. A couple of Jabba's right there. Boom. We've got an R2-D2 pencil sharpener. Oh, dude! <laughs> this one is 1983! There you go, vintage. Bro! If we get into the wrestling now... Oh, what? We've got the John Cena... Hustle, loyalty, respect. Yep. John Cena armbands. <laughs> I would've got them with a DVD, and I've probably got this with a DVD as well. What on earth is this Whatever bit? that is, it's from WrestleMania. Oh, cool! And this is old school, the WWF. Bottle opener. Dude! Which will go well at the corner tonight. Look at that! There you go. The WWF bottle opener. Bro. Old school. Happy buttoning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. No worries, what a surprise! Oh, and look at this, the posters as well. Vader poster. Look at that. Darth Vader poster and... A Revenge of the Sith one. There we go. Oh my god. I think I would have got these when I went to the movies to see the movies. And yeah. yeah. Look at that. Sold, sold a few of these on eBay as well. Couldn't get rid of these last couple. So, so it's like, you know, I did yeah, all this all rest of this mate. crap that I can't get rid of. Siriani will take it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now Steve wants it instead. 
Thanks, brother. <laughs> Boom. No worries. Thank Happy you. Happy buttoning. Backstage, we're just enjoying some um, fruit. Onto the fruit platter there. We've got the boys to enjoy. Hey, look at who it is! Hold on, let me just. Uh, it's, it, it's Troy Mayle, the, guitar <laughs> the, the guitarist. He's appeared. He had a gig on before this gig. Mm -hmm. Pulling double duty today, mate. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, it was a bit late. There's a couple of groupies there. Oh no, <laughs> the groupies! And now, uh, yeah, the the beers have arrived. It's all happening backstage at the corner. Oh yeah. Starts in 10 minutes. You got a good sound there, Matty? Sounds bloody beautiful. Sounds mate. beautiful, beautiful. man. Oh, yeah. We got Leroy up here. How you doing, Leroy? Good songs. <laughs> what songs are we doing, Leroy? Good ones. Good ones. Yeah. Look, you got the guns out, Frankie. Show us the guns. Whoa, stop it. Now this one is for you, this whole show. I oh, know, I've been looking forward to this show. It's probably one of my tick off the bucket list as a Pearl Jam fan and a performer. So you've I'm really been asking to, to do this gig for years. Ages, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to rock out the crowd tonight. It's going to be a great show. It's going to be awesome. And this Troy boy over there as well, getting ready. Which track are you looking forward to the most? Um, oh man, even flow. It's even flow every time. Even flow. It's, yeah, that is your go-to, oh, isn't it? Yeah, what a tune. What a tune. Alright, show time very, very soon. Yes.
There's Mick Aaron, sound guy extraordinaire. How was the first set for you out the front, mate? It was fantastic, mate. Thanks for asking. <laughs> if we didn't sound like balls, we sounded good. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> How did you feel about the first set? I had a blast. Yeah. Such a good time. Uh, you will have seen a little bit of it just before, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the footage back, because it was a lot of fun to sing, a lot of fun to play. It was so good. The audience is so good. Yeah. Someone in the audience was singing, not very good, but <laughs> whatevs. Whatevs, as long as they're enjoying themselves. Yeah, man. You're learning songs before the set, mate. What's going on? What are all these cheat sheets here, mate? Hey? I don't, I don't have lyrics in front of a fold map for nothing.
All right, just finished up with Even Flow and the boys. Troy, how do you think it went, mate? It was a blast. It was a blast. It's so good. So if you, um, you're a budding muso out there and you want to know how to put on a rock show, hopefully this video will show you how to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you to Moni for taking the photos, all of the shots of us on stage and the video of us on stage, all thanks to you, so. Anytime. <laughs> Monique. What's your Instagram handle? Monique Pisica Media. Monique Pisica Media, right there. Really Boom. Easy. <laughs> Follow her. Maddie. Sweaty. Rock and roll. Just everything. Everything tonight. We let it all out. Yeah. I can't hear anything you're saying. <laughs> I'm deaf now. Frankie, look at you, eh? Look at that towel on your head. Towel head. Wow. How did you, how did you enjoy Oh, really good, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, no, uh, good. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank we, you for asking. <laughs> it's like half time at a, at a footy grand final or something. <laughs> oh, we're just going to go back out there and just yeah, give it our all. Give and it 110%. Thank God and thank everyone and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. yeah and awesome. Leroy. Oh. Mate, what a night, brother. Hey? Huh? Did we play those good songs or what? We played all those good songs. <laughs> <laughs> all the good songs. Oh, all right, no. we better pack up. Very important when you put on a rock show mm. to pack up. All right, so we just finished up, finished up the show. This is my mum, Olwen, and my dad, Joe. And me. And uh, they've been coming to my shows since I was... A little tacker. Yeah, a little tacker. Yeah. So thanks for still making the trek out to see old mate Sis Dog embarrass himself on stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was yeah, you're awesome. Throw the horns up. Rock and roll. What are those? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we're wrapping up the gig. There's Frankie and the boys. There's everyone. There's John. You played with us once, didn't you, mate? And if either of these guys are sick, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> and Sonny, our unofficial roadie. There he yeah. is. Yeah. Thank you, Sonny. Thanks, guys. If, if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and put the subscribe button. Oh my god, I'm so tired, I forget that. <laughs> the subscribe button with your notifications turned on. All right, let's go have Yay. a drink, boys. Woo! Uh, I've got an online order, HS51. Two thousand and twenty-two. You just give them a number, and then they give you food. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. So I'm at the uh, the Mickey D's. I love the McDonald's after a show. I I admit it's a guilty pleasure, but after eating clean for weeks, preparing for the gig, um, not drinking anything, and uh, at the end of the show, I drive through the McDonald's and life is good. <laughs>